Oh, Hamza, look at this monarch butterfly. Holy. That's a butterfly. Hold on. That's Those also a butterfly. A, what is, what, what's the species called? Monarch butterfly. But they, they say that they go to pilgrimage. Pilgrimage? Man, that's, that must be cool. Let's see. Let's see. It needs to go. To, it needs to go from Canada, from Canada to Mexico because they need to lay their eggs. From a human's perspective, that's like crossing the world two times. Two times. Two times on foot. But see. wait, but there. Wait. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, it says the lifespan is two to six, six weeks. weeks for one butterfly. But well, how can they get from Canada to from Canada to Mexico? Oh, on here's the answer. Six weeks. It takes. It takes four generations. To travel to, oh, oh, oh. from Canada or Michigan until Mexico. Man, and but the, the last, last generation is called a the super, super generation. generation. Super bad. Oh my god. Okay, so it takes it takes eight to nine months to come to get from can for a whole family to get from Canada or Michigan to Mexico. Are you sure? <laughs> Look at it for yourself. So it sounds like the butterfly is going from the north until somewhere, let's say, two to six weeks, and, and they land in Nebraska. It lays her eggs on the milkweed plant, and then it dies. But then the caterpillar, it becomes a butterfly, and then it continues a journey. Let's say until Texas. That makes sense. Yeah. And then now according the here, book. it says that the last part, from wherever the last part was, until Mexico, or wherever their destination is, is called a super generation. It says here it says, that, it, yeah. that the super generation is a generation that fulfills the monarch, the monarch journey or pilgrimage. The super generation has some sort of hormone in them that almost makes them immortal so that they don't die until they reach Mexico. Can you believe wow. that? That's like, so they're technically like the super butterfly. Exactly. But hold on. that's not, We're missing something. Really? Yeah. Look what it says. They're on the endangered species list. Oh, why? Why is that? Let's check. Whoa. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons here. Okay, so how do you even say that word? Deforestation. That means that the forest that they're living in is being cut down. Wow. Wait, so right now also because of pesticides, it says. So that doesn't that mean when the mother butterfly goes and lays her eggs egg, yeah. on the milkweed... The caterpillar is eating poisonous poisonous plants. Poisonous plants. Exactly. But hold on. There must be something we can do about exactly. it. Exactly. What can we do about it? Search it up. So to everyone who is watching this video, the monarch butterfly is a very important and amazing creature. But sadly, it's on the endangered species list. They've helped us through pollination. Now it's our turn to return the favor to them by helping them. Now, how can we help them, you may ask? Well, you can go plant milkweed plants in your yard. Now, you might say, this is an easy one. Let's just go to the store and buy some milkweed. It does seem like a good idea, right? Wrong. You don't know which type you're buying. It's better to not buy at all because you could be harming them rather than helping them. Let me explain. There are two types of milkweed, the tropical and the native. The native one is naturally grown wherever you live. The tropical one is grown in, next to the Amazon in Brazil. Now the problem is, the tropical, if, the, if they end up in America, they become invasive. And, the, and a butterfly cannot distinguish the difference because they look, smell, and even taste the same sometimes. Now, it's not just the leaf or the plant that's harming the butterfly. Tropical milkweed comes with a little dangerous package. There are these little parasites. They're called the parasones parasite. Uh, I know, very difficult name. I don't know why scientists put these very difficult names. We can just call it the OE for short. Now, what the OE does is it lives on the tropical milkweed. Now, when the butterfly comes to eat the milkweed, of course, the milkweed itself is already harming it, but the but the parasite will hop on to the butterfly and inject venom or poisonous things into its body, which will prevent the butterfly from flying, which will make it die. Now, there is a way we can prevent this. First of all, planting milkweed plants is very important. 
as long as you know the right type. So make sure you go to one of these links or make sure you check with a specialist on plants to make sure that the plant to make sure that the milk you're applying is 100% native. Second, don't spray your plants with pesticides just to make them smell or look good. Because even if you buy a native milkweed and you spray pesticides on it, it's still poisoning the butterfly. Maybe not from the maybe not from the parasites, but from the plant itself. We really hope that now you can distinguish uh, the difference between the, the native and the tropical. And remember, it's always up to you to help out these animals. These animals rely on you just like you relied on them. Thank you and hope you learned a lot. Goodbye. planting milkweed pants around where we know. So here's a challenge. Probably not. <laughs> strong! You keep smiling! I'm not smiling!